Today I'm going to show you how to change the covers of your documents or planners inside Zoom Notes. Hi, I'm Taz from PressPlan. I want to show you this little trick I found on how to change the covers of your documents because Zoom Notes is a little bit different than the other apps I've tried before. When you import a document to Zoom Notes, the cover that shows in the library is always the page that you last visited inside the document. Every time you click on a different page, the cover will change. But it is possible to have a permanent cover regardless of what page you are working on. And I'm going to show you how to do it right now. The first thing you have to do is to click on the name of the document that you want to change the cover. Then you click on Properties. Here you can change the document name too. But what we want to do is to toggle this setting here that says Has Cover. When you turn this on, just click Done. Now you have to set a cover to be the first page of your document. So open your document and go on the Page tab on the top right corner. Make sure you are on the first page of your document. And now from the options on the top of your screen, you want to click on that plus sign that will add a page before that page. So now you have a new first page of this document. With this new page, you can just type your cover name and be done with that. But in my case, I want to add a new planner cover that I already have. You can add images from the tools bar on the top. If you have your cover on your photo folder, you just have to locate it through this window and then click on it to add it. But my cover is not on my photo folder, it's on the cloud, where I keep all my images. So to use that, I have to split the view on my iPad and then drag and drop the image inside Zoom Notes. So to split the screen, I first swipe up from the bottom until I see the dock. Here I have all my favorite folders and the cloud application that I use all the time. But if the app where your image is located isn't showing here, you have to open the app first, so it will appear on the right side of your dock where it shows the apps you opened recently. With the dock in sight, I just have to drag and drop my app to the side of the screen. Now I can use both apps at the same time. Once I locate the cover image that I want to use, I just drag and drop it in Zoom Notes. Now I swipe the app to the side to get the full view of Zoom Notes again. And with the lasso tool selected, I resize the image cover to cover the entire page in my document. And now that I'm done, my document has a permanent cover, regardless of what page I'm working on inside the document. If your digital planner or digital notebook already has the extra covers inside the document, then you don't need to import anything. Just rearrange your page to have your preferred cover to be in the first position of your document. And as long as you have toggled that setting has cover and turn it on, it will change automatically. Now that you know how to add a cover to your Zoom Notes Planner, click on the video on your screen to learn how to add stickers to your documents too.